What's going on everyone? Dougie here from the Golf Clan, checking in from Luthaiga Golf Club, just outside of Nairobi, Kenya. Unfortunately, weather's not looking good right now outside. So as mentioned, we are in Nairobi, Kenya. What am I doing in Kenya? My wife is Kenyan. We met at Notre Dame, and this is our first trip back to Kenya in a few years. So I've been to Kenya a few times before, and now I'm here again to see family. We came for a wedding. Although I've been to Kenya before, I've never been to golf courses and I've never played golf. So now with Golf Clan, being in Kenya, I have to come visit a golf course and play golf at a minimum. Like, Coming here and not playing golf will be unacceptable for the golf plan. I'm waiting on a friend to come to the golf club. I'm here at Muthaka Golf Club and through Instagram, I met one of the teaching pros here at the club. So he's on his way here now. And I'm hoping that we can get the chance to play or practice together or sit down for a conversation, something at the very least, as it kind of just shows the power of Instagram, which is awesome. Kenya is larger than California, but smaller than Texas. It has over 40 golf courses, and golf was popularized under colonial rule by the British. And since Kenya's independence in 1963, golf has kind of had an up and down um, relationship with the country as some courses have closed down, been converted for other purposes. And Kenya has grappled with trying to figure out its golf identity. Because golf is an elitist sport, it's expensive, not everyone can play. However, Kenya does host the Kenya Open at Karen Country Club, which is a European tour event and invites golfers from all over the world to play. And I'm excited to check out Mutaiga Golf Club. Mutaiga Golf Club is one of the top courses in Kenya, along with Karen Country Club, which I mentioned, which is also here uh, in the Nairobi area. I'm still, uh, I'm still the same, uh... So this is the club's team. Yes, pretty much. Now team. And do you play coach, or do you coach no, on it? No, now I coach. I now used you to coach. Play. You used yeah. to play on it. These two years, yeah. I was a coach. It's 20, okay. 2018, 2019. Nice. And That's then, awesome. And then this one was my last, uh, my last year when I played. Wow. So is this room used? Is this kind of like the up, up door area? Yeah, yeah, people come here when, uh, for parties or for parties and uh, a conference. Yeah. Usually have the small room there. Okay. Wow. We are here at Mutaiga Golf Club. Things are turning up. My friend Jeff Kubwa has showed up. He's a pro here. He's also a former professional golfer. Now he's an instructor, and we're gonna go hit some balls on the range. Maybe try to get out on the course. The course is drying up. The rain is slowing down, so signs are looking pretty good now. Okay. Oh yeah. That white wall is the is your direction from here. Okay. Great shot, Jeff. Good touch. Okay. 
but uh, normally pros tea are from up there. Wow, how far is it up there? That is uh, 234 yards to the drift. Woo! So maybe we hit a shot from there, it's a very good uh, Yeah, I think we'd go up from up there just for the experience. Yeah, more than that. Thank you Playing about 2.30? 2.30. To the pin or to the center? To the center of the green. To the center, okay. Uh, a bit down. The green is surrounded by bunkers. Right from here. Yeah. Up there. Headed right at the pin. Wow. Oh my goodness, on the green. <laughs> what iron did you hit? That's a four iron. What? 234 iron, all carry, boom. Too strong. Uh, hybrid's not the club, man. Yeah. Hybrid's not the club. From 230 yards. Should have gone with Jeff's call, four iron. I just totally flew the green here. Yes, good par. Par par. Par par. Good job. Now oh, this hole is a bit uh, dog leg right. Okay. It's a uh, par four. The, it's a par four. Okay. The first two hundred yards is narrow. Yeah. After that, it widens. Uh, What's the target uh, for us? The target is uh, if you're hitting a cut, you just go uh, uh, right of this uh, left tree there. Yeah, with a cut because yeah, it turns right. Yes. Yeah, right side, right center. Oh. You have to hit on the right side of the fairway. Exactly. That's why when those are pros from Europe come, yeah. they find it so difficult here, especially for new eyes. Yeah. I don't know where to hit the ball. Right. So the scores don't go uh, as low as uh, as Karen. Right. Uh, Karen's course, easier. It's a tough course for new eyes. Okay. But uh, if you play it a couple of times, you know where to hit the ball. Then right. it uh, becomes uh, easier. Yeah. So anything on the right side of the fairway here, you're kind of blocked out unless you can yeah, cut you, it back. Yeah, yeah. You block the green, so you have to actually for this hole. If you have to miss, miss it left. Miss it left, so yeah. Love, uh, a straight shot. shot to the green, even if you the, the green. Where did your ball end up? Was it straight down the middle? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. On, the green. On the green, off the trees. Thank you, off the trees. Started off with a topper. Thank you very much. We're on hole number three now. Started off with my first driver of the day. Totally topped it. Then we left our layup shot behind the trees. We just hit the gap between the trees. I think it ricocheted off a limb and we're on the green. We have a putt for par. This is crazy. Meanwhile, Jeff just bombed a drive. Just dead straight, beautiful, perfect position. See that? Did we catch her? That ball landed. Check that out. Wah! Jeff just all over the pin there. So the guy that I'm playing with today, Jeff Kubwa, he used to be a professional golfer. Played on the Kenya national team. Extremely talented player. Now he's more of a coach. So as he's had many instructors know, it's it's a difference between when you're committed full time to playing and when you're helping others improve 
Jeff was saying before the round that sometimes he feels like he picks up the bad habits of his students, but man, the guy can play. So as you can see here, my ball is on the front. Jeff is tight, landed right around the pin. Great shot, Jeff. Beautiful shot, fixing his ball mark. Look at this, nice and tight. Woo! Okay, got a little birdie putt coming up. Oh, birdie! Nice birdie. Here on hole number four, it's a par five, playing 522, and it's a dog leg right. So you wanna cut off a little bit of the fairway going down the right side, but not too much. Beautiful, great ball. Right down the center. Nice, a little draw. Here we have Jeff from 250. This is a second on the par five. It's headed right side of the green. Should be right up there next to the green. Good shot. I do about uh, 280. 280, that's long. So there you just took a little bit off. Yeah, yeah. That pin is really tucked behind the bunkers on the left. It's tempting you to go right for the pin. Yeah, yeah. Now you can't go there. Lift the right, take your body. Yeah. If you're in those it's, bunkers. Uh, this course actually really need to know where you're hitting your ball. Right. And if you're going for that pin, you have to know exactly. If I hit this club, I'm gonna boom land it there. Yeah. Because if you, are, if you if you don't if you don't get it, then you're messed. Right. Yeah. Now the bunkers are wet too because of all the rain. Yeah. So it's probably more difficult. I needed more slice on mine. I was trying to bend it around the corner. It came, but not enough. Exactly. So I was just telling Jeff, right now I'm writing the manual and being out of position behind trees on the wrong side of the fairways, hitting a lot of punch shots, scrambling, and he's just playing smarter golf. Like he knows where to hit the ball, has good ball control, and now he's laying two right in front of the green on the par five. Very well done, Jeff. Another short birdie putt for the Kenyan Pro. Thank you very much. Let's go, Jeff. Yes. Two birdies in a row, right? Yeah. Atta boy, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you so much.